Okay, Bobby here, KM6IKH. Sorry for the screen being a little crooked. Yeah, just some interesting things. I just want to share this with everybody uh, here at the here at the lab. And this is a machine. I actually uh, I approved the return of this for potential servicing or potential issue. And uh, here was the potential. And that's the machine. It's working fine. Uh, here was the potential issue uh, right right here. If you can see, CPU temperature. Let me highlight that. Yeah, I can highlight it. CPU temp right there. And the individual, I will not – I never name names to protect the innocent, as they say. Hi, hi. So here is a unit that I've had, I've had this thing on for 12 hours, by the way. Um, I think if it was going to overheat, probably would have done it by now. I've been on and off all day long on the radio. Just have it set up on one of my uh, one of my extra networks here. And uh, 88 degrees Fahrenheit. That's pretty darn low. <laughs> In fact, they, don't, they usually run this low. Now, that's irony and ironic, is it not? Uh, it's about 20 degrees Celsius here right now. Uh, 22 degrees is just about room temperature. So uh, this machine is running at uh, 31.1 Celsius, uh, 88 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. That's like crazy acceptable. Not only is it crazy acceptable, it's a little lower than I normally see them run and... Remember, this uh, was sent in, and I approved the, uh, I approved it to be sent back for a complete checkup. And uh, they normally run 104, 105. They can run up to 110 on a warm day. Um, perfectly fine. That's Fahrenheit. And here's this machine right now. It's just a little below room temperature, and it's running at uh, 31.1 Celsius and 88. 0.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, this machine happens to be running lower than they normally run um, by about 12, 15 degrees Fahrenheit. So um, sometimes things like this happen, and uh, I don't. There's no reason for it. I do not believe this machine ever overheated. Ever overheated, by the way, uh, unless the person that owns it had it inside a piece of Tupperware. It'll definitely overheat. You could smoke a board in Tupperware very easily. Um, I didn't ask that question. Maybe I should, because the machine is just working like a champ. Uh, it's working flawlessly. I put my image in it. As soon as I got the machine back, the uh, first thing I did was put a card in. You know, put one of my cards in with uh, my frequency and uh, matching my radio. It's been on for about 12 hours, and uh, I just figured I'd come here, push the pickle a few times, and really start uh, doing some heavy keying on it which I did. Um, I haven't been able to get it over, really went up to about 90 degrees, 93, I think. Uh, I, I was checking in on it intermittently as I'm working here at the bench. So that's just, uh, you know, it's kind of, kind of bizarre. Um, it's running cooler than they normally run. And remember, this came in for running hot. So the only thing I suspect, and I haven't, can't prove that, Yet I can, but I haven't seen it. If someone went in and overclocked this thing, and if this thing was overheating with that other disc in there, uh, the person that has this machine has a little technical knowledge. It went in, overclocked the Raspberry Pi, and if you overclock a Raspberry Pi, you will indeed see the temperature go up. Uh, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take that disc out, and I'm going to literally, literally go through. I'm going to analyze that disc line by line as it boots and executes, and I'm going to be watching for overclocking, which is what I suspect, because apparently uh, it is not over overheating any way, shape, fashion, or form. So Bobby, KM6 IKH here at the Next Gen Labs, home of the world-famous Rugged Spot, Commander Spot, and XD42. 73, all